Welcome back to Mountain Connections. If you're waiting till the end of the summer to start that great DIY project, well, TV contractor Chip Wade is joining us. He's got some great suggestions and tips and ideas for the next project. Let's take a look. With many people spending more time at home this year, many of us are taking on do-it-yourself remodeling projects. Here with some DIY inspiration is our favorite TV contractor, Chip Wade. He's the original Emmy-winning host of HGTV shows like Elbow Room, Curb Appeal, The Block, and several others. Thanks for talking with us, Chip. Thank you for having me, Christine. So as a contractor and HGTV host, why are so many people taking on projects this year? Well, we have so much more time we're spending at home because that's basically what we're all doing. And we just, I mean, it's natural for us as people to just be a little bit more critical of the surroundings where we spend more time. So with that elevated time spent, it kind of elevates our desire to uh, update and perfect those areas. If we can only do one project this summer, what do you recommend? Well, now is a perfect time to do some exterior refresh because the weather's nice and warm. I'm actually just about to embark on painting my own personal home. Um, I'm going to hire somebody to do the painting because uh, there's a lot of high spots, but I wanted to research and get the products uh, that I felt were going to be correct, and I think this research will help you guys out as well. I found HGTV Home by Sherwin Williams, but their new and improved Everlast Exterior Paint and Primer Formula. This is awesome because it has a brand new, innovative technology that is water beating technology. This is brand new, and what it does is it keeps the mold and mildew from ever growing on the paint because that water just beads right up and falls off, which is awesome. So it keeps our curb appeal looking great. Uh, you can get this exclusively at Lowe's right now, um, which is super handy. Andy, um, I would certainly check it out. Technology can be really useful, especially when you're a DIY novice. What do you recommend? There's a couple of technologies that I have that I think you guys would find interesting. Uh, after doing Curb Appeal, The Block, that exterior renovation show for many years, I have you know, come to be very familiar with measuring outdoor spaces, which can be really cumbersome. But even as a dad or a homeowner, whether you're wanting to do a new flower bed or a new play area for the kids, being able to map out a space and come up with a plan is important. And I found Card Up by Plot. This is the first completely digital measuring wheel to be able to virtually map any outdoor space in real time. Now, what does that mean? You basically just put your smartphone on top of it, roll it around the perimeter, and it maps it live time to your smartphone. Gives you distance takeoffs, measurements, areas. Uh, awesome. Really, really great. Whether you're a pro or a DIYer, this is a cool, cool technology. Now, technology on the inside of the house can be just as cool. Uh, have you ever installed a smart thermostat or any thermostat uh, for that matter before? we have. Awesome. Well, I am, uh, from what is available today, technology is constantly advancing. I found this one that I was really impressed with. This is from Ecobee called the Ecobee Smart Thermostat with voice control. Now, what's cool about this one is it seamlessly regulates your home's temperature, but it also reduces energy consumption by monitoring whether you're home or not, even if you're in a room or not. So it's getting really, really refined, much more precise, and that's what's saving us money uh, in the long run, and even the short, uh, the short run as well. And do you have any suggestions for handy products? I do. I'm always on the lookout for things that make my life just a little bit easier. Uh, this is a product from 3M called the 3M Claw. Uh, it's a picture uh, drywall hanger. Um, this is a cool device that looks very simple, but wow does it do a lot. Uh, it installs with just two fingers, no tools required, no stud required, just right into the drywall, but it holds up to 45 pounds, which is a really big number. Uh, it also comes with a spot marker that you can stick on the back of whatever you're trying to hang, and then it allows you to align it perfectly. Again, these fit in your hardware drawer for just such an occasion. I like They come in, um, I believe, 25 and 15 pound increments as well, but the 45 pound, you know it's just going to hold what you want to hang, so I recommend just getting these guys, having them on hand, and it's going to make your, uh, your quick refresh of any room in your house a lot easier. Where can we get more information about everything you've talked about? I've actually got all of these tips up on tipsontv.com. Uh, you guys can get the links to everything I shared here today in case you forgot, but these are some great options to get you well on your way. Well, thank you so much, Chip. You always motivate me to start my next <laughs> DIY project, so I appreciate it. Thank you, Christine. Have a great day.